Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to Bathurst. Mount Panorama, we are with the Delara F3. And this is just one of the best combos out there. The car is so much fun around here. Just completely flat as you go on the ascent up the hill. A lot of fun. I'm using an effect setup. Brake bias is at 54.4. And I'm just going to show you guys a lap. And then we're going to take it corner by corner. God, I miss doing this. So, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed it leave a like and if you want to see more then subscribe to the channel i'm gonna probably be doing some racing here this week if i can find the time i really want to that's it let's get on track Okay, so we're coming up to turn number one, looking for a breaking point. It's going to be past the 100, before the 50. We have the light post past the 100, and we have the light post at the 50. And we're going to break smack dab in the middle of them. So, this is the first light post. Going to wait on it, and break right around here. I would call this right between them. And not going to peak very high. I'm in fifth gear, so around 60%. Down into fourth. And as I put it in third... Right now, I'm going to start to rotate the car right around here. Turn it in a little bit later than you think you're supposed to. Really going to help you on the exit here. You want to try to take this corner in third. Second also works. It's a little bit slower, but easier to get the car to turn in. So maybe on cold tires, or if you're really struggling with this corner, try to use second. But third is faster. We're looking for this inside dip. You can see me trail braking ever so slightly. Looking for this inside dip. That's going to give us a lot of grip, and I'm just going to smash the throttle once I reach it. So as soon as the car dips down, sinking in, I'm going to have all that grip in the rear because I'm shifting all the weight to it, and I have the camber to suck me in. Don't want to clip the inside curb, just a white line. Smashing it, open up the wheel, let the car run wide. This much of the curb is fine. A little bit more, you would hear the bottom end grinding. And when that happens, A, you can send yourself into the right-hand wall here, and B, you will lose some straight-line speed. So you want to prevent the car from grinding on this curb. Just use a little bit of it. Now, fifth gear, if you're in high ambient temperature, this one's a bit low, so sixth gear. Past the access route, we're going to start breaking between the end of this access route and the 50. Right now we're in 6th. If you'll be drafting, you'll be using 6th here anyway, so might as well get used to it. Uh, yeah, so braking, I don't know, 60% we're going uphill. You don't have to brake super hard or super long. Downshifting into 4th and late in 3rd just about now. And I'm going to try to hug it very early again. Just like turn 1, we want to turn in early. Uh, I mean, relatively early. We want to maximize the dip here. All this camber is going to sink us into the corner and we can be 
be very aggressive on the return to the thrall just 100 percent right around here i'm putting in into fourth because i'm just out of revs let the car accelerate out of it don't overuse the outside curb that's going to send you to the wall nine out of ten or for the very least will compromise your straight line speed now this bit this bit is fun so yeah we're clipping the first apex uh, kind of putting the left front on the white line here and as soon as we go across it i'm gonna start braking and opening up the wheel keep the wheel as open as possible you want to brake diagonally to the outside the car as straight as you can so you don't start locking up or the rear end starts doing weird things 40 percent now releasing some more one around 25 percent the car slow down slow is slowing down so quickly because you're going uphill so it's not really a problem and I'm almost going to release the brakes at this point, just a tiny dab. As I approach the wide line here, again, going back on the power, this time to around 70%. You can see I'm still asking for more rotation from the front tires because the car will comply. It's not a problem. There's so much grip here. You want to be as close to this wall as possible without touching it. So this much is pretty good. You want to i'm taking the throttle to around 70 percent a little bit of hesitation then squeezing it back to 100 opening up the wheel quite quickly the inside uh the inside left rear i mean the left rear <laughs> is gonna be spinning here in second gear but you do one second because you want to build up that rpm for uh, the the uh ascent here so don't be scared if you're rich you're hitting the limiter a little bit you can actually lean on the limiter just a little bit build up the rev so you can upshift into third into third yeah as you can see i'm just correcting the whatever little slide it might give me on the exit it's always going to want to kick out a little bit if if not then you're probably taking it a little too slow because that's the setup that's how the car reacts the setup is really good on uh acceleration when you're trying to rotate the car it rotates really well so it's always going to give you that little bit of a kick and uh, just taking smooth lines from this point on because it's all flat out. So I'm just taking the car to the left, trying to take nice, easy lines, not overusing the tires, trying to keep the car as straight as possible for as long as possible. And here as well, taking the car to the right and just, you know, as little minimal wheel input, as minimal as possible. Very slowly rotating the car. If you're If you're on cold tires on this corner, I might lift just a little bit, especially if you're drafting. If you're not drafting, it's not really an issue. But if you're drafting, I would lift just a tiny bit, maybe 80%. You're not going to lose any speed over it. So don't even worry about it. Just do it on the first lap and you'll be fine. Now, I'm I'm hitting the limiter in fifth. I like to stay in fifth here. Just going to help me with the rotation, the engine braking. And as I go under this bridge, right where this shade is, I'm going to release the, th the the power and get on the brakes just a tiny bit, just the tiniest bit. Flip this inside wall, just be as close to it as I dare. As I straighten out the wheel, get on the brakes pretty hard, relatively speaking, to around 40%. I'm rotating the car again, so I'm going to release a little bit of the brakes now. Flipping this inside curb, trying to open up the approach for the next corner. And as I straighten out the wheel, I'm going to start braking more again. Just to decelerate as much as I can before I reach this uh, right-hander in second gear. So now in third. Second, and I'm going to ask for a lot of rotation. Very, very, very late. I want to hug this inside line, the white line here. Don't Not the uh, red and white curb. Just the white line here as much as I dare. Which will give me a ton of grip and will afford me to accelerate halfway through this corner. So that can actually give you a tenth and a half easy. So if you really set yourself up nicely, you can accelerate through this corner without washing out. Just take it easy, prepare the car, and that's going to give you a lot of speed currently. And you can you can maintain that speed all the way through the exit, all the way to forest elbow, I think. So straighten out the wheel as the curb runs out, getting on the brakes, going second gear, mind you. And I'm going to turn in very early, almost aiming towards this inside wall. You really, really want to be close to it. And I'm going to start accelerating as the car starts the, the rapid descent here. Because the compression here is everything. It's going to give you a ton of grip. Smashing it. Keep rotating the car. It's going to respond. 
don't, just trust it. You got, you're gonna have to trust it here because you're going so fast and open up the wheel very quickly. You have to do that. If you keep trying to rotate the car, you can overload the rears or just understeer. So you're gonna have to open it up very quickly. Find a nice straight diagonal line here. Flip this inside curb, not a problem. Into third and into fourth. Now line ourselves up and I'm gonna start breaking pretty early here. So you'll see me turning in early. Looking for uh, whatever this is. This is, I would call this the apex, this part right here. I'm gonna re release the throttle, get on the brakes slightly. Again, I'm turning, so I don't wanna be too aggressive on the brakes. I'm gonna wait for the wheel to straighten up and then I'm gonna brake harder. Stay on the right for a relatively long time here. I wanna hog this wall, hog this white line. And again, I'm just trying to keep the car as straight as I can and the wheel straight as I can so we'll have efficient braking. So easy to lock up the fronts or the rears, in fact, if you're too aggressive here, depending on your brake bias. And uh, yeah, you can see me braking as the, as the car is nice and true. You can see me braking pretty hard again. And as I'm gonna need to turn in the car, I'm gonna release it. Now, what I'm doing here is pretty much a, a GT3 line. Uh, the problem, uh, which is, which means you're gonna be turning in quite early into this apex, uh, which means the right, uh, the left front is gonna be in the air. That's why it's locking up so much. I'm barely touching the brakes, but it is locking up because it's constantly bouncing around. There's barely any contact. You're doing everything with the right front here. And the apex for me, you can see I'm quite neutral at this point. I just try to prevent the lockups as much as I can here. Uh, this is your apex. So the end of this Falcon sign, this little point right here is your apex. If you can get the car aiming towards it at this stage, go for it. Absolute send, 100%. Second gear, just floor it. The car will comply. There's a ton of compression as, as you go through this corner. And as, you, as the car gets straight, open up the wheel quite rapidly. It's going to give you some rotation from the rear. And you're through. That's the best exit I've had here yet. Now... Through the, the chase. Nice and easy. Line the car up to the right. And we're going to break, I would say, the 100. Maybe slightly past it. Yeah, the 100. You can try to break later, in fact. But I find, it, I find it's very difficult to manage the exit if you're trying to break late here. The car's just a little all over the place. You break a little bit earlier. Let's say the 100. And give it a good amount of braking. So around, I don't know, 80%. Just slow it down. Into third gear, you're gonna have a much earlier uh, exit, a much earlier point of acceleration. That is, and a much better, a lot better speed on straight line into into the final corner. So you can see where I'm starting to accelerate, right? Very early, and it's gonna wash me out a little bit. So I'm not clipping the inside curb here. I'm just clipping the white line, exactly where I want to be, seventy percent now. As you can see, I'm going uphill, but it's going to straighten out once this corner is over with, and you're going to start the right-hander. And when that happens, the car will snap. It will always want to snap. And that's because you get a lot of uh, rotation on acceleration with the setup, and the altitude changes. This is an F3 car. The altitude changes are quite extreme for this car on this track. So you can see I'm already counter-steering, even before the car is starting to slide. Just to make sure the car is nice and straight. Let it wash out. That's fine. And from this point on, keep it nice and true. To the final corner. We're going to break. If we have the 100 here. The 100 is too early. Maybe on cold tires with the draft. But essentially it's too early. You want to break. I would say a good place is the 80 sign. Which is non-existent. So you have this. Uh, pillar here, the slide post. I would say right around here. So we call this the 80. Uh, peaking pretty high to around 80% again and releasing gradually throughout the braking zone. So now into 50, down into second, and starting to rotate the car. And I'm I'm not aiming towards this uh, red and white curb. That's going to bounce the car, will upset it, make it very difficult to have a good exit. Just clipping this inside uh, white line here. That will allow me to go back on the power, wash myself away from it a little bit. Around 60%. And then as I 
go across it back to 100 open up the wheel the car will rotate it will rotate open up the wheel as you accelerate because it will always want to rotate here and that's gonna give us a 157 a31 i hope you guys enjoyed this track guide i've missed you guys i'm happy to be doing this again i'll see you all next time uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it and everything bye bye